You don't know how you got here? No. What's the last thing you remember? Nothing. I'll bandage you up, give you something for the pain, then I'll call an ambulance. What's your name? Jane, what's yours? It's John. Thank you for helping me. You seem like a good person. Thank you. You should get away from here. What? It's not safe. Okay. Just try and keep calm. We'll get you looked after. We're gonna be fine. In the time it takes you to blink, the point where you are sitting has moved 2,000 miles. What did you mean before? That it's not safe? None of the cities will be safe. Why aren't the cities safe? We're not coming back to warn you. Warn us about what? See, you're past warnings. What are you talking about? How don't you know? What? I don't know. I'm calling the ambulance. You need to go home, pack your things and leave. Right. Damn it, I'm trying to help you. Okay, just relax. Relax? You can't be totally oblivious. Oblivious to what? What do you think happens in the future? The future you made for us. Billions of people are dying. The rivers are drying up. The farms have turned to dust. The streets are filled with cries of starvation. We're fighting over crumbs. Whole countries. There's nothing left. So you think you came back from the future? You've risked your life to come back from the future, but not to warn us. No. So why have you come back? To stop you. How are you going to stop us? The way you stop anyone in a war. You're going to kill people. You're murdering us. You're nuts. No, murder is disregard for human life. You don't think that's a little extreme? You've wasted everything, killed everything. You've left us with no food, air we can't breathe, and cities sinking into the sea. So you can travel through time, and this is how you fix it? This is as far back as we can go. This is the last chance for anything. For life on Earth. But how do you decide who's guilty? You're all guilty. Every time you turn on a light switch, you're killing somebody. Every time you start your car, you're sentencing someone to death. How do you not see that? How are you not horrified at yourselves? Okay, let's get you to the hospital. No, answer me. How do you go on living this way when you know what you're doing? We do what we can. Do what you can. You shouldn't be able to sleep at night. Try to think of ways to stop this. Your TV screen should be filled with the questions. How do we stop destroying the oceans and the forests? How do we stop burning fuel that poisons the air that your children will breathe? You should be planting forests, building new energy sources. You should be tearing down power stations today and throwing the people who run them in jail. 
Then you should tell people, warn them what's coming. There isn't time. There's no more time for warnings. You've already wasted the 50 years that mattered the most. Every day that you've wasted, a million people have died. You need to warn us. No, no, we're not here to warn you. All that's left now is this, to stop you. We'll listen, we will. We've already seen you leave us to die. I think you can get people to listen enough to change things. It's too late. It's not up to me. There are more of us coming, and they will not be as kind as this. Then we have to hurry. I can't stop the others. Give us a week. Why not week? And if it's that hard to time travel, maybe you're the only one that made it here. It's not possible. You have to try. How? Tell everyone what you just told me. It won't be simple. It will be hard. Because you've left it this late. Then tell us that. Start at the beginning. I'll help you. Tell us how you got here and what is about to happen. A week turned into a month. What are you talking about? They're building it again. We have to go back again. Why would you take a chance like that? We didn't need another warning about climate change. We needed a warning about ourselves. This wasn't a failure of reason as much as it was a failure of compassion for all humanity. We didn't fail because we didn't comprehend the problem. We appealed to people's reason. We gave them fact. But humanity is still an animal driven by desire. We failed because the worst instincts in human nature beat the best. We chose what was easy, not what was right. We did not only abandon the future. We abandoned each other. The only message that could have inspired us all to action is compassion and unity. That's what we have to tell people. Then we have to hurry.